So the Tim Lincecum Derby or sweepstakes is apparently down to three teams according to the reports. It's the Giants, it's the White Sox, and maybe the Angels. Sounds like the Padres are out even though they just picked up Hector Sanchez. The ex-Giants catcher was a guy that Tim Lincecum liked to throw to. So where does Tim Lincecum end up? Well, let's uh, handicap of the various contenders. The Angels right now have a real mess in their starting rotation. They're certainly desperate. They went out and got Yola Chassin from the Braves, but that's not enough to make them think they've solved their problems. But is that team going to be a contender with that trouble in the starting rotation, all the injuries they've had, and all the problems they have on offense in a tough division? Yeah, he'd get to pitch in a pitcher's park in Anaheim, and in Oakland, and in Seattle, but also in Texas and in Houston. That'd be no easy task, and that's something he's got to think about as he thinks about racking up stats for another impending free agency. Then there's the White Sox, and the White Sox are a strong team this year. Now, they made some changes. John Danks was DFA'd. They're going to let Miguel Gonzalez, the ex-Oriole pitcher, have a shot at the number five spot. Matt Latos in the number four spot got off to a great start, and now is starting to regress to the mean. They're solid one, two, three. But then you're not pitching in a pitcher's park at U.S. Cellular Field. It's a hitter-happy park. And so Lincecum has to think about that as well as the uh, summertime weather in Chicago. Then there's that team in San Francisco, which has the pitcher's park, the favorable weather, still a contender in what so far is a mediocre division, and they're the strong ties. The Giants, I would think, have a pretty good shot still at signing Tim Lincecum, even though he continues to say he wants to be a starter, and even though the Giants continue to say they want to see him as a reliever first. And why wouldn't they? Has he shown that he's got starter stuff yet? No, he had a showcase where he looked healthy, which was great. Really look at it from a bullpen perspective for us, and, and yet I know he wants to start, so we'll just have to see how it plays out. But uh, you have to take this step by step if you're the Giants or any organization, even the Giants, who've had some problems with the four or five slots in the rotation. Uh, Matt Cain had a strong outing his last time out, so that gave them a little bit of calm there. Jake Peavy as well, he's hanging in there, but it's a possibility they could make a move down the road. So what you do with Lincecum is if you sign him, uh, you get a few minor league outings in, then you get him up here, you have him do long relief, the uh, Yusmero Petit roll, if you see seeds there and one of the uh, starters falter, then you give it a shot. So what it comes down to is this, how strong are Tim Lincecum's ties to San Francisco and how badly does he want to be a starting pitcher again? We'll find out the answers to those questions very soon.